we have been witnessing the true power of Black Imposter. We saw them absolutely crush Springtrap this week, but now it's time to test their limits. We will be throwing more and more powerful opponents into the ring with Black Imposter until they lose. And when they do, the video will end. Our first opponent will be against Sans. All right, looks like right off the bat, <laughs> Sans is just gonna hover towards Black Imposter. That was pretty funny, actually. Um, once again, we all seen the like enhanced AI that Black Imposter has. It's quite fast, it's quite intelligent, and it even uses advanced tech like wave dashing and other things like that. So it's a very, very good and smart AI that will honestly do a ton of damage. Minus the fact that Black Imposter SD'd, I mean, the percentages are looking pretty good. It's gonna get the first stock on Sans. Black Imposter seems extremely unbothered. It's probably just gonna rack up some more percentage here to even out the playing field. Already practically evened it out. Sans is dodging it up, but not for long. It's pretty much even at this point. Black Imposter is gonna start some combo here. Oh. SD? Nope. Sans is putting up a much better fight than I thought he would, but that's the fun of the video. After Sans, we're going to be fighting someone even more powerful, and it's just going to get even crazier and crazier. All right, it's neck and neck. They're both hovering at around 100%, both pretty close to a KO, depending on if one gets a smash attack or not. Oh, that's a good amount of damage from Sans. Very good hit, but... Black Imposter is going to get that stock first. Sans is really struggling to finish Black Imposter here. In fact, Black Imposter hasn't even been killed by Sans yet. They've only jumped off the map, so Sans hasn't really done a lot of finishers. And it looks like Black Imposter is just going to completely wreck Sans there. As expected, Black Imposter moves up the ladder. Right before we hop into this battle, I want to say a quick thank you to Isaac JB and Fast Tap. They are Linklight Plus members. Linklight Plus members get to nominate characters or video ideas for the channel, and they get a cool badge next to the name in the comments section. They also are helping support the channel, which is great. If you want to get involved, be sure to click the join button next to the subscribe button, wink wink, to sign up and learn more. Next up is Crewmate and the this is just so funny seeing them next to each other. All right, Black Imposter, you know what you have to do. Crewmate actually does have a pretty decent AI. I wouldn't say it's very far off of vanilla, but it does seem to have a really solid combo game, uh, a little bit better than Sans, and Crewmate will actually throw out some finishers. So I think it's a little harder opponent than Sans is. Black Imposter clearly has an advantage right now. I mean, the percentages are... Uh, they're about like 30% apart now. I love how aggressive Black Imposter's play style is. It's very refreshing. A lot of CPUs kind of play really safe and dodge a lot, but Black Imposter is just not afraid to get in there and tear it up, you know? Oh, great edge guard from Black Imposter. Very nice. Already down a stock. Crewmate is uh, it's looking a little sus, not gonna lie. I'm sorry, I couldn't help myself. <laughs> Oh my gosh, wait, Black Imposter is already about to get another stock? Such low percent, but the knockback was incredible. It looks like Crewmate actually manages to get a stock there, not bad. It's fishing for smash attacks, it knows. It knows that it needs one smash attack to get another stock, and it just keeps throwing them out and it gets it. Very nice. Pretty good lead Black Imposter has conjured up. I think Crewmate is in a whole lot of trouble. Crewmate is definitely trying to do like some advanced techniques with like trying to pull in their opponent using the emergency button, but it's really not working out for them. Oh, is that going to be it? No, not quite. I love the way. Oh my gosh, that's it. Wow. Black Imposter just would not let crewmate back on stage. Insane edge guarding. All right. It's time for everyone's favorite segment on the channel. Okay, but can they beat Goku? All right, Black Imposter, show them what you got. If Black Imposter can beat Goku here, not only will that put them further up the power ladder, our next opponent is gonna get pretty spicy. What we will also do is we'll give Black Imposter a new costume so he can look a little more fresh in his battles. It's looking like Goku's actually putting up a decent fight against Black Imposter, maybe slightly better than Crewmate, but mm, Mr. Goku really does need to step up his game if he wants to defeat this monstrosity. Oh, that's a strong hit. Goku loses his first stock and Black Imposter is just unfazed. 
He's going in for more. Goku could be KO'd at any minute now, but also Black Imposter could be. They're both at KO percentages. Goku's doing a pretty good job right now at keeping a Black Imposter off of him so that he can maintain stage control. Oh my gosh, the percentages are stupid high. Goku's gonna go Super Saiyan. This could be a wonderful opportunity for Goku. And it looks like, well, Goku didn't even really need to do anything. It just kind of solved itself. But hey, not bad. The playing field is kind of even, but not really. I mean, there's a, uh, you know, there's that, that, you know, that just happened. So it's not so even anymore. But hey, Goku is doing a pretty decent job here. Wow, Goku is really the king of dodging. That's what Goku specializes in. He just dodges everything and decides to only hit when it's safe. And then Black Imposter is like the opposite. Black Imposter just hits whether it's safe or not. It's He's going for it. He's just going to throw out the attack no matter what. Whatever it takes. Goku is not looking too good here at KO percentage. Hanging on for dear life, but it's not enough. Black Imposter finishes off Mr. Goku. Okay, Black Imposter, earned yourself a brand new costume. I think you look great in green. Now it's time for Speedrunner Mario. Speedrunner Mario actually does have some reasonable modifications to their AI, so this should be a much more respectable fight. All right, Black Imposter immediately goes in for two hits and Speedrunner Mario hasn't even hit Black Imposter once. Mario does have some better decision-making skills. As you can see, when it's under platform, it was using that up smash, which is a great way to hit the opponent while being completely safe. Black Imposter is ready to finish off that first stock. Speedrunner Mario is struggling to recover, and it looks like Speedrunner Mario is already down a stock, which uh, this fight is looking a lot more even than any of them that we've seen so far, which goes to show that this power ladder was very well constructed. I'm gonna pat myself on the back for that one, not too shabby. Uh, I say that, but Speeder and Mario looks like they're about to lose another stock. Holy, that's absolutely insane. Black Imposter does not play games and Speeder and Mario is scared to do anything right now. They're just intimidated, so nervous on their last stock. And they do happen to send Black Imposter pretty far off the stage, but they still manage to recover. Oh, good attack from Speeder and Mario. We just needs a little bit more power to really seal the deal. And uh, Speedrunner Mario, I just didn't really want it that badly. <laughs> Next up on the ladder is Chris, which has an extremely aggressive playstyle, just like Black Imposter. If you're enjoying the video so far, be sure to subscribe to the channel. We have a lot more exciting videos planned like this one. All right, Chris, show Black Imposter what you're made of. Oh, wow, this projectile spam is kind of funny, actually. I wasn't expecting that in the beginning of a match. Already a 30% lead because of that projectile spam. Chris just needs a few aerials, and then they just have, like, like I said, I was literally just about to talk about this. An excellent, amazing combo that's still going, and Black Imposter is not having a good time. But Chris is going to SD right there. <laughs> All right, I guess. But once you get Chris started in the air, it's pretty much over. So you got to be very careful with uh, not allowing Chris to launch you in the air. And it looks like Black Imposter may have learned from their mistakes as they're now playing, you know, kind of similarly trying to get these aerial hits. Ooh, okay, a good KO on Chris. I wasn't expecting uh, Chris to actually get hit that hard but we do see a ko from chris very well done not bad no taunt spam kind of unusual look at this absolute insane damage they've racked up already black imposter is already almost at 100 percent and chris has barely taken any damage we just need to see a strong oh my gosh wow wait chris has the most crazy beautiful edge guard i have ever seen in my life but it wasn't enough Wow, I just have to say I respect Chris's AI so much. That was awesome. All right, time for one of my personal favorites, Waluigi. This Waluigi is actually pretty good at their combos. And if you watched our Pepino video, you may remember this Waluigi very vividly. All right, Waluigi, show Black Imposter that you mean business and that you're willing to put up a tougher fight than any of the opponents before you. Put a rich legacy on your name, you know what I'm saying? So right off the bat, it looks like uh, Waluigi is already in the... Hmm. Well, I was going to say they were in the lead, but... um. Well, that happened. As you can see, Waluigi is absolutely not playing games and gets a stock just like that. Wow, very unexpected. The playing field is now even and Black Imposter has now realized that maybe he's met an opponent 
that actually might be able to take him out. Oh my gosh, these combos from Waluigi are beautiful. Are we gonna see another character fall to the demise of the purple mustache man? Black Imposter is not willing to go down without a fight though. As we can see, they're getting hit quite frequently, but their aggressive play style is not wavering. They're still going for these attacks, even though it might not be the smartest decision to be making at the moment. They're not afraid. Ooh, wait a minute. Black Imposter playing really aggressive here. Just needs to get a few more percent to really even out the playing field. They're both kind of close to being KO'd. I think we're about to see a stock lost here very soon. Waluigi's combo game is just gorgeous. And it looks like Waluigi loses a stock before Black Imposter, which was a little unexpected on my end. But I think we're about to see Black Imposter lose a stock here. 190% is kind of insane. And is that gonna be it for the stock? No, it's not. Black Imposter's not giving up just yet, but that edge guard from Waluigi completely denied. Black Imposter is at over 100% and could be KO'd at any moment. Oh my gosh. Waluigi could be the arch, oh, the counter. The plays are so intense. I can't believe what I'm witnessing here each of them playing at their absolute best it really could go either way they're both at such high percentages oh my goodness waluigi puts an end to the rain oh my gosh i'm speechless bro i really thought we had a much more opponents to go through but waluigi bro all right subscribe check out the playlist see you later